Hey, what is going on guys? And welcome to the Shopify Life Cop example. Uh, the drop that we recorded here is the Simpson Kiff drop. And I apologize, but the audio didn't record during the actual Live Cop. So we're just doing a voice over here. So in this first task group that we have, we have uh, the direct link and all my monitor delays are at 10,000 and all the task delays are at 45. Here we have the second group where we're using keywords with proxies. And then the third group is we're using direct link and also using proxies. So I basically started my tasks uh, about seven minutes before drop time. Um, all my delays were at 10,000. And I believe this is around a minute before drop time. Um, with the groups that I have proxies in, I do drop the delays a little bit earlier just because I have enough proxies. So I am changing my monitor delay to 4,500 and also I'm lowering my uh, task delay to 4,000. Realistically, uh, during the drop or before the drop, you can actually just set your task delays to the lower value so you don't have to change both. Um, the reason being is that it'll continuously use your monitor delay until um, it actually goes and carts the product. Then it'll take over and use your task delay. So um, right here, this is my local task group. Um, as you can see, I typed out the lower delay. I haven't clicked out of it yet because that would mean that it would update. So I am waiting probably like five seconds right before the drop, and then I'm going to change the monitor delay, and it should pick up instantly. So um, while we wait, we do have two... Oh, and we did click right there. So as you can see, um, I do have two checkpoint capture windows open. I quickly answer the question and I choose to copy and paste um, just so and have it on my clipboard just so it's easier. Um, just something to note, you can actually skip the first page of H capture. Um, as you can see, I did, and I'm just solving the second page. Um, we did get three H captures triggered because we are running three tasks in total. And let's go ahead and see what happened. So on the second and third tasks, I actually got checkout failed or payment failure. And that was actually because my proxies were blocked at the payment process. And that was just completely my fault. I used the wrong proxy set. Um, but the first task group, as you can see, was on my local IP and it did check out successfully. And right here, um, I'm actually removing my task proxy to my local IP because I did notice I used the wrong list. So as you can see, I'm removing it and I'm restarting my task. Each capture gets uh, triggered again, and I'm and I'm solving it right here. I did skip the first screen again, and I do mess up the capture here, I think. So I have to solve it again, which is tedious. And there you go. You see, it's still running, and right now it is on submitting checkpoint for way longer than when it happened initially. And that is because at this point, you know, a lot of people are um, on the web.